Hello folks, Dom Lawson here um, from the ever popular Metal Hammer magazine thing. Um, time for another one of those um, iron sandwich things. It's just so hot. I can't tell you. It's Well, I can. It's really fucking hot. Um, it's hot and I'm very sweaty. I'm just about ready to move on to my second t-shirt of the day because this one's... Okay, you could ring it out. I'm not going to ring it out. I'm just going to sit here and wallow in stink frankly but there you go um so yeah today i'm going to talk to you about the debut full length album i believe um by hot new british metal sensations while she sleeps um you may have already seen the, the metal hammer review uh, in the magazine by my friend merlin um which is very good um but that's not relevant to this because this is my review um but anyway uh, i've got to say, I had reservations about While She Sleeps, because about a year, maybe two years ago, people started baffing on about them. I've just invented a new word there, by the way, baffing um, on about them, as if they were, you know, the saviours of something or other. And um, I, I have to admit, I have a lot of issues with with um, music papers, music magazines. I don't have any music papers anymore, are they? But the enemy, and no one reads that. Um, yeah, music press basically got, you know, Bigging bands up before they're ready. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a really short-sighted approach, and it sucks. Um, it sucks. Doesn't suck. It smacks of um, clutching at straws. Really, it's like we'll find the band that's going to be big next, and we'll say that they're the finished article when they're not. And I have to admit, I heard while she sleeps earlier material, and I wasn't really that impressed. I thought it was all right. I'd heard heard people say that they were brilliant live, and I, I admit I did, hadn't seen them live, so I couldn't really pass judgment on them as a live band but the music to me just sounded pretty unremarkable and not you know it, I mean it was it was certainly feisty enough and 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 they're obviously good at what they did but I didn't hear any songs and I think that's a um a really common problem with a lot of stuff that comes out these days uh in the metal scene particularly the the non-traditional metal scene you know the kind of hybrid stuff that is a mixture of, of metal and you know hardcore influences and all those kind of things stuff that's come from kids that have, have grown up listening to as much hardcore as they have metal um, and you don't really feel great affinity with with metal culture as a whole, um, is that you get bands that have got a great sound and great musicianship and really great sound, but no real songs, and they just kind of repeat cliches and and all the rest of it. And I didn't think While She Sleeps were guilty of that too much, but but I didn't think they were that remarkable basically. And also the name put me off. Um, it's yet another one of those band names with three words in it that doesn't really mean a great deal. Although I do quite like the idea of while she sleeps. It just kind of depends on what you're doing while she sleeps. You know, if you're taking a shit in a handbag, for instance, um, then the name's quite good. Or if you're committing some kind of foul sexual crime, um, uh, depending on what it is, obviously. Um, and, um, you know, or if you're setting fire to, uh, you know, a, a giant mound or pile of Linkin Park CDs while she sleeps, because she's a big Linkin Park fan. Um, then of course, the name takes on a slightly different hue, um, which is good. Um, but uh, I don't know, you know, maybe it means something else. I'm got a clue, but it's just a bit, bit of a wet name for a metal band, really. While she sleeps, but anyway, that's all the negative stuff out of the way. Well, all but one of the negative things out of the way. The positive things is that that in the the period that's passed since I had first heard While She Sleeps, they've turned into an absolute monster of a band, and uh, this is the sixth, the debut album is um fucking brilliant i mean there's no no two ways about it it's um it's an incredibly assured record it's full of big tunes um the production on it is fantastic it, it kicks a lot of ass um it's very very kind of confident and vicious and and you know um really aggressive record and i like it a lot um i i think you know i i I'll be honest, I would rather, you know, nine times out of ten with this kind of stuff, and I don't want to, to stick them in a particular subgenre or pigeonhole because I think they're, they're better than that, but um, While She Sleeps, are very obviously, uh, they're a metal band, but only to the extent that about 50% of their sound is metal. The other 50% is is kind of um, owes a lot to kind of post-hardcore and uh, a bit of punk, maybe. Um and I don't. I'm not a fan of post-hardcore, all that stuff. I think most of it is whiny shit, and um, I don't like it. You know, I find it's incredibly repetitive. The, you know, the same melodies, the same musical ideas repeated ad nauseum, and I find it very, very dull um, and a bit wet, really, and not you know, 
bands who kind of do a lot of screaming and heavy bits and then go into a really whiny chorus it's it's kind of cancels it out really and you end up with, with absolutely no emotional impact whatsoever but again while she sleeps are not guilty of that because they they have the tunes and they have the aggression um the vocalist is it lawrence i can't remember but the vocalist is he's great i mean he's got a really brutal raucous voice and it's more of a hardcore voice than a metal voice but that's not a problem you know um this is this is a you know their sound is a hybrid sound and there's nothing wrong with that at all really i even hear shades of like gallows and and uh, the bronx and stuff in bits of this you know in the punkier bits on this album which are, which is no bad thing because i love both of those bands you know and um it is metal i mean it's, it's undeniably metal there's there's stuff bits on it that are you know riffs that are very much you know reminiscent of um, i mean there's a faint whiff of slip not here and there there's a faint whiff of um of the kind of uh, kill switch engagey and flamesy kind of stuff, you know, there's a lot of the guitar parts are very much in that kind of vein, you know, and uh, um, and there's some really good kind of sludgy, dirgy riffs in there as well, which could be, you know, um, come from Will Haven or you know Crowbar or any of that kind of stuff. So there are, you know, there's a lot of different influences on this album, but I think overall we can call it a metal album. Why not? You know, let's not be fucking twats about it. Um, uh, well, we could be twats about it. That'd be quite funny, actually. But anyway, um, yeah, it's. I think it's phenomenal. It goes off like a rocket. It's a really ferocious record, you know. And I think um, I only have one reservation about the album, really, as a whole at all, which I'll come to in a minute. But um, I just think, you know, these are these are great songs, and it's it's a very passionate record, you know. It's like, it's like a lot of these, a lot of new bands, really young bands, doing this kind of stuff again. Don't really wish to um, tar while she sleeps with the brush of you know being some kind of bandwagon jumping subgenre band because they're not at all um, but in that general area of, of metal seems to clean the UK um, a lot of the bands just kind of look they're a bit blank eyed and, and you know there's nothing really going on other than kind of ticking boxes and you know it's not really very hard to believe them you know and I think when they when you've got kind of cynical bullshit like axe wound going on you know and people people bigging that, that up in the press it kind of just makes me think well you know you don't really have to do much to be heralded as the, the 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 big new thing these days, you know, you just it's just um, a case of uh, doing what's expected. Whereas while she sleeps, don't do what's expected at all. I think there's a lot of originality on this album. I think there's a lot of um, they've, they're carving their own little niche here. I think, and I think you know they they certainly deserve the support of, of metal fans. Uh, and it's not going to be to everyone's taste. I mean, you know, if, if realistically, if you're really you know if if you're very kind of straight down the line about your metal tastes, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if you're you know um, there will be a, a, a large subsection of metal fans that will would much rather listen to Evil or, um, you know, who else? Um, other metal bands, other more traditional traditional sounding metal bands, or more brutal stuff. You know, more death metal or deathcore or uh, metalcore stuff. You know, that is more brutal than this. But um, but I think that, uh, that well, this is the six is an album that people should give a chance. I think you know because it's um, it's it is you know it's it's great. So it has great songs. It has a great sound. The band have a lot of attitude and, and energy and vitality, and I think that's uh, that counts for a lot, really. You know, and I think it's you know, is it going to be in my top ten of the year? Probably not, but but it's an album that I've already played a lot. You know, in the same way that the Architects album is one that I've played a lot. You know, and again, not not probably the kind of stuff that I would um, necessarily uh, hold close to my heart or or that I'll be listening to in five years' time. But I think for a as a snapshot of where well she sleeps are at the moment, I think this is a fucking brilliant record. Um, and I think the other thing is it's a really good kind of basis for them to build into something even better you know i think again the problem is that you big these you know magazines and stuff big these bands up websites particularly guilty of this big bands up when they put their first album out and it's like oh this is fucking brilliant it's a classic and you think well you've not really left them anywhere to go now you know i mean if you think that while she sleeps i'm capable of making a better record than this then fair enough but i'm pretty certain they are you know but um they are i've seen them live now and they're fucking brilliant live you know, there's, there's no denying it, and I think I think if anything, that's going to be the the place, the way to experience while she sleeps is to see him live. Everybody, everybody that told me that they were amazing live was right. So you know, I, you know, there's no denying that at all. But I think this album backs that up brilliantly. Now I'll come to the bit the thing that I don't like about it, and this is no criticism of their songwriting, of the heaviness of it, or the the how metal it is, or anything like that. There's this strange phenomenon now. On a lot of heavy albums, metalcore albums, hybrid albums like this, which are kind of, you know, metal meets post-hardcore, whatever, um, that you have a song, a lot of intros and kind of interludes in songs that are basically a bit of plaintive-sounding piano, a bit of sad-sounding piano, and gang vocals over the top. Um, I mean, Gallows did it on their album, but it kind of fit because it was that kind of record on Great Britain. There was that kind of, um, you know, 
conceptual vibe to it and it kind of worked as a kind of locking bits of music together but while she sleeps it about two or three times on this album and um, the outro Reunite is, is that as well it's like a bit of sad sounding piano with some gang vocals over the top and I just I just don't like it really it's just one of those things it's just not so I, I kind of go oh god it's that bit now you know and um, it's a bit Again, a bit wet, really, and I just think you know it's um, it's become a cliche already. I've heard it so many times on albums now, and and um, I I don't know. I think the thing is that I love this album because when it boots off, it's brilliant, you know. And then the heavy, the heavy bits, which is eighty percent of it, it's phenomenal. It's really exciting. It's a really exciting record. But then those bits kick in, and it's the kind of sad piano, and we're quite sad about something, you know. It's like, well, don't be sad. Be angry. It's much better when you're angry. Um, you know, if you want to be sad, be my dying bride. You know, and actually make it your thing rather than um, trying to be sensitive. I don't want. I don't really want metal bands to be overly sensitive. I want them to be metal bands. You know, or extreme aggressive bands. You know, suddenly if you turn around and say, "But actually, ladies, you know, we we cry too." You know, I don't want you to cry. I want you to, you know, smash stuff with a hammer. So um, you know, that's my only draw. But that's just a personal thing. I don't. Th I don't think it detracts greatly from the album. I think the album's fucking brilliant anyway. Um, without, you know, I can ignore that, you know. I mean, there's a one track, there's a kind of instrumental track called The Chapel, which is really good, actually. But I don't think the album would be any less, um, any, would be diminished at all without it. And um, one track, that be, Love at War, there's a track that begins with that kind of plaintive piano -y thing, and that really puts me off that track, to be honest. And my favourite track on the album is The Plague of a New Age, which is just vicious and doesn't have any sad piano. So, um, so less of the sad piano, please, boys. Don't like that. But uh, the rest of the album absolutely phenomenal, and um, I think they're you know they're going to be an important band, I think, and uh, particularly live, I think you know they're going to be one of those bands that's you know they're obviously they're so into it that they're just going to tore their ball balls off and um, and win a lot of people over just by being hugely energetic and aggressive, and I think that's great, you know that's what you want. You want bands that are, you know believe 100 percent in what they're doing, and I don't think anyone, if you see while she sleeps, I don't think anyone could accuse them of not believing what they're doing. There's no posing going on; they're just a full-on you know exciting band. So there you go, that's my opinion on uh, This Is The Six by While She Sleeps. While she, what are you doing while she sleeps, boys? I want to know. Hmm. Having a wank really close to her face and hoping she doesn't wake up. Just just an idea. Anyway, um, that's enough from me, and the next one that I'm going to do will be about something else. So uh, heavy metal, cheers, and uh, my God, it's fucking hot. Please make Actually, no, don't make it stop. It's all right. It's better than the rain, isn't it? Cheers.